And you kind of slyly threw down there in the comments like, oh yeah, and, and keep an eye out for what's coming up. There was a press release yesterday in Italy. I will now read to you the official press release of the Coffer Project. You are literally not going to believe what they've just found underneath the Coffre, the middle pyramid in Giza. I can't believe it myself. They have discovered that there are enormous structures underneath the pyramid that go kilometers deep into the earth with coils. Uh, there's a theory going round, and this is based on high-tech radar technology. They've taken kind of underground pictures uh, using radar. For our last story today, let's talk about the pyramids. They're massive, they're mysterious, they've been standing tall for 4,500 years, and according to a new group of scientists... Researchers announced there is a vast underground city hidden underneath the Pyramid of Khafre in Egypt. Huge structures discovered two kilometers below Pyramid of Khafre, close quote. Speaking with Professor Filippo Bionde, who's also joined by investigative journalist and researcher Armando May. Armando May. Corrado Malagana. Dr. Nicole Socolo, Professor Filippo Biondi, Dr. Armando Me, and Professor Corrado Malanga. Uh, Corrado Malanga, Professor Filippo Biondi. Um, uh, Filippo Biondi and Corrado Malanga. Corrado Malanga and Filippo Biondi, who is not actually. When were the pyramids built? Nobody knows. How are they built? Nobody knows. I can't get that out of my head. There's and again, I'm not pushing a conspiracy theory. I'm just noting what we don't know. Yeah. And I don't know why, like, everyone's like, shut up. Shut <laughs> up. Are very secretive. They never want ground penetrating radar there. They're always trying to cover stuff up. From all those who have worked or been involved in work on the Giza Plateau, that the Egyptian authorities uh, have uh, orders to hide whatever is under the plateau and to block this knowledge, block the information. Showing spiraling structures extending deep below the Khafre pyramid and across the Giza plateau. Now these claims have since gone uh, viral. Almost half a million views, so viral video essentially. But if it's real, it just changes absolutely everything. Everything. But this structure is so large and so deep, even people like me who want to believe this are completely shocked. Very excited I've got you all together to talk about what is either one of the great discoveries of modern times or a complete load of bullshit. The Italian researchers' claims could still be valid. I don't think we should write them off initially by any means. And I think time will tell if this comes out to be I'm going to be true. frank here. I think that uh, I would love this kind of stuff to be true, but it is total bullshit. Immediately trying to stripe something or label it or rate it is probably the worst thing we can do for not only information, but for civilization and for the knowledge of mankind. Probably the most discussed archaeological topic of the year so far. And I'm fixing to waste some air addressing an archaeologist that doesn't really know much about the data or how they got the data that they claim to have from under Coffrey's pyramid. He just knows that he doesn't like it, so he's going to poo-poo it. Very few people are aware of this, but we had to go through an arm and a leg back in the 1980s and 90s uh, to get the permission to bring in uh, technology, remote sensing technology. But there's t there's cavities, if I could call it cavities, all around the area, and many of them probably do go that deep. So imagine if your little video game console could see through three, four walls. We, we showed examples on air where they were seeing people in the front yard shooting through three walls from the back of the house all the way to the front with a video game sensor. What if the Italian team are actually onto something? What if there really is a hidden city under Khafre's pyramid? What if the Hall of Records exists and is packed with secrets? Secrets that could change everything we know about ancient Egypt.